Hello and welcome to a new episode of Yannick Asks. Today we are talking about an effective and reliable water supply without a power grid. I have a very special guest today, the product expert of Borhol Pumps, Philip Maibom. Philip, welcome. Hello, Yannick. So this is the Velo Acton Opti, a pump that is already available. Why are there new ones? Well, we have extended the power range of the motors up to 4 kW and by this we can offer our clients an even wider range of solar borehole pumps. Philip, where does this solar borehole pumps are used? Well, solar borehole pumps are used wherever there is no stable electricity or water grid, especially in remote areas without infrastructure or for irrigation or agriculture. Do you have an example or a reference? Well, there is the Mati Mati project in Mozambique where exactly this pump is used. Okay, and every application has their own challenges. Which one do we have here? Well, in remote areas, there is often no water grid or electricity available. And for that reason, ball pumps in combination with diesel generators are often used. Okay, diesel generators? So that sounds not so environmentally. Well, that's correct. And these generators are also prone to defects and need regular maintenance. And moreover, you shouldn't underestimate the cost for the fuel. Okay, Philip, now we set up the Velo Actun Opti here. Can you explain the structure to us? Well, the pump itself is powered with solar power, outer solar panels, and the number and the orientation of the panels can easily be selected in our solar selection tool at solar.velo.com. The DC power is then converted to AC in the integrated frequency converter, which is well uh, cooled and CEF protected in the well itself. Then there is the high efficiency permanent magnet motor to make the best use out of the solar power. And there is the pump end, where we do not have only centrifugal pumps, but also positive displacement pumps. And this helicorotor pump here is ideal for the use with solar power, as it works also in situations with low solar radiation in the morning and in the evening. Okay, now we have the worst case scenario. We need to pump water, but the sun doesn't shine, like on a rainy day or at the night. What do we do now? Well, there are several options. Uh, elevated tanks are quite often used as a buffer storage for the night hours. And in that case, the water stores the energy from the sun by itself. But the Actun Opti MS is not only able to handle DC power from the panels, but it can also use AC power. And therefore, diesel generators can be used as a backup. That is cool. And what are the best customer benefits of the Velo Actun Opti? Well, first of all, the pump is self-sufficient and needs low maintenance. Especially due to the integrated electronics in the converter, the pump protects itself for dry running and other electrical failures. Second, it's an easy installation, also thanks to the integrated converter. And last not least, it's the easy selection of the pump and the panels at our selection tool at solar.velo.com, where you can finally also simulate the water outcome. Okay, Philip. You impress me really well with the Velo Action Op team. But at the end now, let me summarize all these big facts. First, we have an expansion up to 4KW, right? Correct. Okay, and second, the motor, the inverter, and also the pump itself are a perfect unit and can be put together in the borehole to use the sun energy more effective and also to pump more water. Absolutely. And last but not least, if there is no sun, in, in the night or at a rainy day, the pump can be used with a generator to create the energy for it, right? Perfect summary, Yannick. Philip, thank you very much for joining in and also for your explanation of the Velo Actun Opti. You're more than welcome. And if you have now any questions about the Velo Actun Opti, feel free to contact us. And of course, we would love to receive a follow or a like on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for joining in and see you next time with a new episode of Yannick Asks.